Yo, 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 guys. So people were telling me since I did the last new legend, I should also do the Ardor one. Our good old friend Nabi, who I basically dubbed the new queen of CUD. Well, actually, all PvE content, let's be honest. There's basically one skill that matters, and everything else is basically bonus, in my opinion. So let's look at the squad. Uh, her best position is right mid, unlike most uh, midline passers, she is not a center mid. I mean, closely every unit is center mid for weird reasons in this game, who I will never understand. If we look at her stats, uh, she is clearly technique based, as she is a passer. Her second best stat is speed, who is pretty much what you would always want in a passer, vitality followed by power. This is perfect. I do think that maybe power above vitality would have been good knowing her specific kit, but it doesn't really hinder her that much if you stone her correctly. Now let's go down on the skills. Now as I said previously, she is one of the only two legends in game to have a triple effect ace burst, well, regular ace 2, uh, max life, action speed, and critical resistance of Ardor players. It isn't even that bad, just Ardor doesn't have the best critical resistance to start with, so it is a little bit undervalued. The other stuff though is pretty good for Ardor. Active, forward pass, recover the action bar in the target by 80% and spirit by 80%, active in 8 minutes. Now that's great for two reasons. One, you can cast it more. Two, 80% action bar, really great. Some of them usually have less than this. I mean, if you have a decent front, normally you'll, you'll be able to move before they do. There's, there's a rare chance will be a problem, especially if you have a Metatron on your line. Just they hit the Metatron once, this is done, and pretty 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 much a, fit, a done fight. Now, Spirit, 80%. I mean, that this costs one bar. This means the active really costs 20%. Now, of course, you need one bar to cast it, though. Of course, when this will hit a DEE, I'm pretty much awaiting it to be 100% and to be 100% here, who will be even cooler. Uh, the 8-minute cooldown, again, less than the average. I like that. Um, Aldiago, because they decided to be Italian. Yeah, okay, my... Anyway, uh, decrease the max life recovery of enemies in the team by 50% and increase the damage you receive by 10% for one minute with a pass. Now, this, this right here, this is, as I like to call it, the bait. Decrease the life recovery effect of the enemy team by 50%. Just read this line very carefully, and for those who don't know what this means, is, for example, you know how when you're in the good old uh, COD and uh, you're fighting that... Uh, Level 36, 30, well, actually much more than 30, let's say 50, let's be generous. And you meet that is Cilia, you know, those heavy heals, that active heal, those bonus passive heals, you're divided by two. It's just magical. There's so much value in this skill. Multiple levels of uh, COT can be easily beaten thanks to it. Uh, I think especially for some levels, and I think it's 4, 6 or 4, 7, where there's a uh, Felix in mid that a lot of people have issues dealing with. Uh, there's the one where you're not allowed to have a striker by using it. You can counter shoe at Angela heals. Again, a lot of value can be taken from this skill load. And honestly, th this right there is the one reason we want her. I don't think this skill will be buffed for obvious reasons or even alter. If they increase the time, it would be completely broken. Increased damage increase would maybe be too little of an effect. So yeah, I think this is here to stay. Then we have a, a skill called Presto 2 who well, again is an extremely great skill. Increased reflex 30%, very standard, and action speed by 30%, something that's pretty rare to get nowadays in game, um, and who, of course, is just gonna have great utility whoever you stick her with. Uh, Volante, increase the attack power by 100% and critical resistance by 50% when being stolen or attacked. So again, as she is a passer, this pretty much means it's always working. Uh, the chances that she'll try a steal are honestly very weak, and if she fails a single time, she'll never try again. So, just await that to work, but honestly, this isn't a skill we really care about. Just because even if she has attack power, when attacked, it's not gonna do anything, and critical resistance, she's just not tanky enough for it to mean a lot. Maybe two hits you'll survive for it, but that's the max. So yes, I do hope that Volonte gets changed. Because it really brings nothing to the table. Maybe give some damage decrease when attacked right there. And that would be perfect. Now let's look at the chains. Is it good? Is it bad? Honestly, it, I'm, I'm pretty disappointed. Because the best chain is the Nemesis chain. Well, they call Fighting Spirit. Everything else is pretty meh. I mean, here you got Lois. She's not bad, but she's not great. 
You got Mickey, it's the same gig. You got Milky, it's the same gig. Here, Erica, I mean, Mono Ardor could use her. That, that's not even that bad, to be honest, but I'm not Mono Ardor and I run her. Uh, you got Corapula and you got Guardian again. Okay, Corapula is actually pretty strong. So you got a decent chance of seeing her in PvP, but that's pretty much it. And White Guardian, some Mono Light people like to use her, but they use her manually because you could walk around her. So, again, not the greatest thing you're seeing. That's pretty much her chains. They're a little bit disappointing, to be honest. Uh, especially that friendship one is, is bad. So yeah, that I'm, I'm kind of disappointed in the chains. Now, let's look at the stone slots. So you've got Ardor, Dark, Wormwind, and the Prime slot. Now, as I am a bit lazy to describe every possible stone, I will just show you guys what I did. And yes, I own her. So Dark, I decided to throw in a reflex. Just I wanted a bit of action speed. Uh, for the Wormwind, I did some receive passive effect and action speed when holding the ball. Uh, if any one of you wants to trash the fact that I put a, a pass stone, Reflex 9.6. The, the minute you see that, you know shit is good. Okay, so pretty much I built her as an extremely reflexy, tanky player. Uh, there's some DR in the subs of everything. Uh, again, I'm still working on maybe getting a better Crystalline Crimson Jade because I'm going to give one to Jiho anyway. So I'm, I'm working on getting a little bit better subs. but this, this right here is perfect. So I use her mainly for PvE. If you're using her in PvP though, I would advise getting the same thing in a DR stone if you can. That would be a little bit more powerful, but that's pretty much the build you're going to be going for. Um, if anyone wants to ask the question about Battalion, I do not advise it though, because if you do it, she'll get the survival, but she's going to lose the reflex that this stone gives who's honestly pretty damn great, especially since it gives the DR when being attacked too, I pretty much think that this is much more valuable than a battalion, especially since she already has the attack when being attacked, but since she's a passer, whatever you do, you're multiplying a low value, so it can never reach a high value. Um, affection chains, I already showed them. No, I have not completed them. Skill-wise, well, that, that's my build. For those of you who want to see her exact stats, you can do the math. They're, they're honestly pretty good, to be honest. Uh, action speed is quite nice. I do regret, though, that none of the position bonuses really give action speed except center mid, because that's not exactly where I want to run her. Uh, I don't know why right mid is the one that made the most sense to people, because like, the, 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 the center mid has better stats in everything that matters. But, you know, it's, like, it's BB, so I, I always say to never trust this stuff. Uh, for those of you who want to know pretty much how I'm running her, um, I'm doing this comp. It's working pretty well in Colosseum of Infinity, and when I go to higher floors, I can switch her out for uh, Elemental Resistant Totem. I have two free of them, you know, the usual gate at 33%. But putting her in the midline, especially when you're facing a, a self-healing goalkeeper, is extremely powerful. You could use her just... To, um, to replace good old Linmei if that's what you want to do. Uh, the reason that I use a Marianne is actually just because I have a Bonchi like this, I can make an extremely strong pass up front. Uh, I did test a few passes to Vonchi. She did around uh, 1,700, who was actually pretty damn nice. Uh, again, I was playing around, so maybe that's not the exact value, but it did do some pretty nice stuff. I do want to point out that he was running SOB at the time, and I was testing out some other receive passive. So it might be, again, a little bit weaker. But it was pretty decent as a value. Um, so that's pretty much how you want to try a runner. Again, it's really a, a thing that you want to give her speed and subs. Because whenever Aldagio is up, you know you're able to take them out. And this is why I believe that running her in manual and PV content is where you're going to get the most value. Because if you run her in PvP... She is going to have the issue that she's going to die easily. And as you know, killing the center mid is pretty fast. And in PvP, if they pass to midline, they're going to try to penetrate to frontline again. So you're really not going to get the same value out of her godly passive. So this is why, once again, I believe PvE is where she's going to shine. I mean, I've tested it and I can really confirm. Uh, I've already been able to be too new as COT matches just because of her. Uh, also, we'll be posting some stuff up on that. I'll see though, because the COT is supposed to change at the end of this round, so it might be a little problematic. If you guys have any questions, comment, or if you want me to try do something with her and show that on video, uh, just ask it down in the description below. Have a good day, guys.